What's going on everybody? The Aried Lord is here. Welcome back to another Walking Dead vlog for Season 10 of The Walking Dead. I'm going to start classifying these vlogs as they should be for Season 10. And a lot of the pictures are just screenshots and things that were taken from the Season 10 trailer. But nonetheless, I want to do a few topics as we build. Because believe it or not, I know it's kind of crazy, but as soon as the beginning of August starts, we're only two months away from the beginning of season 10. And I know that all of our focus, or at least my focus in terms of the channel, has been on Fear the Walking Dead and some of my frustrations with it. Um, I I should probably rename that video so that it's, because it is a mid-season finale review, but I just had, I was fed up with Fear the Walking Dead, what they were doing in that first half of season five and, um, I guess reviewing the rest going into the finale will probably be what will be the reviews on my channel that will then cross over into uh, The Walking Dead starting in Season 10. Uh, reaction videos and all of that stuff starting back up again, which I'm excited for. I mean, that's like the main, that's the main focal point of my channel. And so I can't wait to start it up again. And I want to get some of the hype built by doing some topic videos for you guys. And so one of them I, I was going to do today was on Negan and what his role is going to be in this 10th season of the show. Now, we have some clues about that in this trailer where Negan kind of, firstly, he mocks the fact that everybody's kind of afraid of the whispers, people really <clears throat> putting on this kind of, uh, red scare, communist kind of scare, if we can attribute it to actual historical events, <clears throat> when people were afraid of the Russians uh, following World War II, and then was the Cold War kind of period, and there's very much the sense, you get the sense of a Cold War in, um, in, the, in the form of the Whispers with their border, and Alpha establishes that, like, we're always watching, you know, the one rule is not to cross... Now, here's the thing that I don't understand. Why is Alpha so protective of this border? I don't... Is she just trying to test the group so that she can eventually invade them? Is she doing this just as a game so that she can see how long they last before they eventually do cross into the border? Because if you make a border around the territories of the communities, eventually you're going to stranglehold them in terms of resources. Now, you can farm and self-preservate as much as you can with the stuff that you know the, the the equipment and tools that they have in alexandria on the hilltop but it's going to get to the point where they need to scavenge outside of the walls and if this border is obstructing them then there's no way they can get around it other than going through the border which we see at the end of the trailer so negan making fun of this <laughs> i believe daryl i would have to assume we do see in the trailer that he has a conversation with daryl which Daryl brings up a point in the trailer that he and uh, he and Negan have never been face to face and that there's really nobody who can override what Daryl's about to do. Maybe Michonne or Judith might probably have an opinion about something that Daryl might do to Negan, I would assume. There's a scene in like the infirmary, like it, it, ju it jump cuts, like one second Negan's in jail. The next, he, uh, Daryl and Negan are in like the infirmary, and it looks like Daryl is beating him up. But they they do this in the trailers where they mislead us. Like they have a conversation. It's the same thing they did in the season six Walking Dead trailer, where Rick is holding a gun uh, to uh, one of the civilians, and uh, what the, I forget his name. It was the he was only in one episode of season six and he was the guy who was undermining rick he didn't like rick taking over alexandria after deanna pretty much just closed and shut down when her husband died um in the trailer it looks like rick is holding the gun to morgan's head it looks like morgan and rick are gonna we're gonna be at odds but it was actually rick holding the gun i think it was ethan <clears throat> the guy's name was and um Rick's holding the gun to his head, and he's like, do you have any idea who you're talking to? In the trailer, it looks like Rick is doing it to Morgan, but it was actually Ethan. So maybe they're doing a similar misleading thing where Daryl's punching somebody, but it's not Negan. But 
Negan would be really the only logical person, unless they capture a Whisperer. Uh, like, Negan's the only person that Daryl would get into some type of physical altercation with that he would initiate. Seems like from the trailer he's initiating it. Um, another thing with Negan, I mean, we get a lot of information about him in this trailer, is that Carl's vision, and I mentioned this briefly when I did the trailer review, Carl's vision of the future where Negan is helping with the gardens and the food production in Alexandria, and then Judith comes out to say good morning. Literally, that happened. An older Judith probably... I would love a scene that mirrors that, where she goes out and says hi to, to Negan. He's now... It looks like he's been let on probation, if you would want to call it that. And probably by Michonne... It would probably be Michonne's decision. I mean, especially the conversation they had in the Season 9 finale after Negan saves Judith from the snowstorm. It would probably Judith and Michonne would be the biggest advocators and would let him out to be helping in some way. And at this point, considering the people they lost to the Pikes, how consolidated and trapped they are, they could really use his help. He's an asset more than anything. Obviously, he's a prisoner from a past war that was like 10 years ago. At this point, if you think about it, it was a long, not 10 years, more like 8 years because you, you had the year and a half time jump from season 8 to 9. And then when Rick was taken in the helicopter, you had a six-year time jump. So if you add that up, it's about, you know, like eight and a half years that he's been in jail. You know, there's there was, the, there was the scene where he gets out and goes to the sanctuary last season. But then he goes right back, seeing as how there's nothing for him. The sanctuary is gone. The saviors are gone. The saviors are uh, looped into other communities. There was a shot of Laura in the trailer, uh, Laura, the ex-lieutenant from the Saviors. It'd be interesting if Negan and Laura had a conversation because she obviously obediently took orders from him back in the day, and it would be interesting to see, um, to see their relationship now that she's part of the Alexandria Council and Negan is still a prisoner. Um, so Negan gets the chance to tend gardens and be on parole in this season, it seems like. There's a conversation he has, and it, I know it's with Lydia because she has a red shirt and jeans on, uh, practicing with Henry's spear. And then in the next shot, there's they don't they only show her from like the waist, like the waist level, but it shows her and Negan having a discussion, which is in the comics, those two characters never interact. Uh Lydia stays at the hilltop in the um in the comic with Carl, but obviously now that she doesn't have a love interest, now that Henry's gone, which still I don't like that decision that they did back in season nine. I had a bunch of vlogs. I did it with another U Walking Dead YouTuber. We discussed why we didn't like Henry's death because it took away Lydia's love interest. And there's a lot of other comic book things that I thought could be adapted using Henry's character, but I guess may they may they'll maybe save him for Judith. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, Negan has this break, you know, he says, watch your back out there. I mean, he, I don't know how well he knows Lydia. Maybe he knows that she was an ex-whisperer, was all with the enemy, that they all have a share in common now. Um, it will be, int I'm interested. Like, the, the conversations, and I think one thing for me is, like, what they do different from the comics. Because in the comics, Negan's in jail. He gets out of jail because of a civilian that's angry with Rick. And then the this stupid kid lets Negan out of jail. What is it with Rick? I just noticed that in the comics. Like, angry, disgruntled kids that get access to keys and weapons and stuff they're not supposed to screw Rick over all the time. They screwed him over with Negan being let out of jail. And then obviously in the comic book, Rick's ultimate fate is decided by some shithead kid uh, pulling the trigger on him. So I <laughs> I don't know why that's a trope in the, the comic books, at least. It's, it doesn't happen in the show. But um, um, but yeah, in the comics, Negan is let out of jail, and then he goes into the Whisper camp, has some of the most hilarious interactions with Alpha, Beta, and the whole crew. And um, I, won't, I won't spoil things, I mean, because they might do the same kind of thing, but remix it with what, what, what happens to Alpha. Um, but right now it seems like Negan is being more contained. Like, they're well aware of his whereabouts, what he's doing. And so that's evident because <laughs> you have that line in the, sh in the trailer. You can fight. You need fighters. Peanut butter, meat, jelly. And then freaking Gabriel just walks away. I was like, what the heck? 
<laughs> what guy? What the heck, Gabriel? Is, you... I, I love I love badass Gabriel. You know, we had we've had his transformation, you know, seasons ago. But I love I just love badass Gabriel's transformation. It's great. Um, and so Aaron with his spiky mace is going to team up with Negan and do some reconnaissance outside the wall, it looks like. There is the shot, there's another shot in the trailer where Negan's holding a crowbar, and it looks like he's holding it over Aaron. And it, again, it makes you think that Negan's going to kill Aaron, but I don't think, I don't think so. That's the thing. I don't think so, because they've done this throw you off the scent of the trailer they always mislead you and why would Negan kill Aaron like what logical reason if Negan's really trying to re rehabilitate himself uh show that he's a good person to Judith especially I don't think killing Aaron is going to be uh high on the list of things that'll make you uh you know impress you with <laughs> with the with the folk you know it's gonna end your parole pretty quickly that's all I'm saying um and then the biggest thing at the very end, the final shot of the trailer is Michonne holding Lucille. We don't know who she's holding it up to, but we, Lucille is back. Lucille is back. And Lucille in the comics does play a role in the Whisperer War. I will not spoil that also if they do end up uh, adapting it. Probably the second half of... If, if I'm going to assume... They'll do, like, the Silence, the Whispers, Cold War stuff the first half of the season. And then the second half of season 10, I would imagine, would be the Whisper of War. I don't know if they're going to drag it. Like, if they drag it out to a season 11, the Whisper stuff. Like, I think that this whole season 10 should be about the Whispers. Like, I think that if they're defeated at the end of season 10 in 2020, in the spring of 2020... I think that would make sense. Like, I don't think they really should cross over and be a sec, like, you know, go into... Then again, maybe if Angela Kang does remix it. I mean, already there's a new character, Gamma, a character that was not in the comics. This is a third in charge Whisperer who is loyal to Alpha. And, and for, it seems to me so far that the Whispers are getting a good treatment from this trailer. It's different... We never had Alpha stalking the border, kind of like, you know, egging on the survivors and this Cold War thing. Because you had a little bit of the Cold War stuff with those Silence the Whispers posters in the comics. But they didn't expand upon it. And that's, you know, and I guess that's why I've liked the show. It expands. I've said this before, but it expands upon stuff in the comics that I think Kirkman cut too short, went by too fast. He just, you know, he's got a story, he's got his own ego and everything that goes into his comics where he wants to do it the way he wants to do it, but the show can expand upon stuff that he might not take a lot of time on. Um, so, so will Negan have an interaction with the Whispers? That's like the big question I'll kind of end this vlog off, because we discussed all the things that we saw in the trailer, possible reemergence of Lucille, uh, teaming up with Aaron, uh, tending to the gardens and being in this parole type of situation, having some discussions with Daryl. I would love for Negan to have a discussion with Carol at some point, because we know that Carol is now living in Alexandria. These are two characters that have never interacted. And it blew, it blows my blows my mind. The thing is, Carol was was away at the kingdom with Ezekiel when Negan was uh, imposing his will and reign of terror upon. Uh, upon Alexandria, especially in season seven. She shows up at the end of season seven to help, but like they just exchange gunfire. There's no conversation. Like I feel like Negan would respect the hell out of a badass character like Carol. And it's just unfortunate that they never had a conversation, which is just, it's just bl like blows my mind that they never ever had one line of dialogue with each other. Same thing with Morgan. I mean, Morgan and Negan never had a conversation either, but like that's too late now now that morgan's on fear the walking dead um but i mean there's i really hope that carol has a discussion with negan in some way like we already saw from the trailer that lydia and negan have a conversation which is already something that they don't do in the comics so i'd like to see that i'd like to see him interacting with new characters and uh hopefully interacting with the whispers which man oh man i cannot wait until that happens i am gonna be one giddy fellow uh just in terms of like comic book stuff that that is in that has been adapted it just <laughs> i i highly look forward to uh to them doing that at some point whenever they get to um 
Uh, however long it takes, please, please adapt Negan Alpha stuff. Especially from issue 156. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go read issue 156 of the Walking Dead comic. Uh, it is all spelled out there. So, <laughs> um, so I'm excited. I'm excited for whatever Negan's arc is going to be. There was a shit ton of him in this trailer, so it looks like he's going to have a pretty pertinent role. What do you guys think? Comment, rate, and subscribe, and let me know kind of like what your theories are and where you're thinking Negan's going to be, uh, where, where his storyline is headed uh, for this, uh, these forthcoming episodes of Season 10 once we get into it. So, all right, guys, thank you very much for watching, as always, and uh, I will see you for another vlog at some point in the future. Peace out.